Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a chronic disorder of the central nervous system that disrupts the normal functioning of the brain, optic nerves and spinal cord. It is a disease that affects 2.3 million people globally, with 70% of people diagnosed between the ages of 20 and 40, at a time when they are normally focused on family and career. The damage caused by MS results in increasing loss of physical and cognitive function over time, which can impact on all aspects of a person's life. It is important to treat early since this can positively change the disease course. People with MS can be diagnosed with relapsing forms of MS, known as RMS, which include relapsing remitting MS and secondary progressive MS, or they can be diagnosed with primary progressive MS. The majority of people with relapsing remitting MS will develop secondary progressive MS. The brain plays a key role in RMS, so preserving its health is paramount. However, a recent global survey of people with MS revealed that they are not yet recognising how the brain is affected by MS and the need to consider this impact earlier in their disease. Approximately two-thirds of people with MS, 63%, do not consider brain health to be one of the most concerning MS-related health issues in the short term, although it becomes more concerning in the long term. 84% of people with MS were not aware MS results in brain shrinkage. Let's take a closer look at the two types of damage caused by RMS. Damage can be focal. This is when distinct inflammatory lesions develop in specific areas of the brain or it can be diffuse damage, that is, widespread inflammation across the brain. Diffuse damage can start early in RMS and often goes undetected. In RMS, both focal and diffuse damage lead to the progressive loss of brain tissue and brain shrinkage. There are four key measures of RMS disease activity. The number of relapses a patient has, the formation of new lesions as seen on an MRI scan, the rate of shrinkage of the brain, and disability progression. But patients can work with their doctor and clinical team to manage their RMS, so they can keep doing the things they enjoy for longer. Find out more by searching online for Living Like You.